My dad is furious that my mom slept with other people in an open marriage he wanted. My parents got married when they were super young. My dad knocked up my mom, and their parents married them off. My grandfather was able to set up some business for my dad in a big city, and they moved here soon after my birth. My mom grew up in a conservative southern town where she was taught to be a submissive wife. And even after moving to the big city, she didn't spend much time socializing. She had no friends and never went out. My dad was only there to provide for us. He was always away on business, and he wasn't there as a husband for my mom or as a father to me. My dad made a lot of money, so we never lacked anything. Growing up, I became my mom's best friend. We would talk about everything. I pushed her to make friends and to find hobbies. After years of pushing, she started going to a nearby park and made her first friend, a gym trainer. Encouraged by her friend and me, she decided to join the gym. She met a few more people there and started having some semblance of a social life, but she still continued to tell me everything. I think my dad's new secretary gave him the idea, but he asked my mom for an open marriage almost a year ago. He told her he wasn't happy in their marriage and that she wasn't providing him with everything he wanted. My mom, who is a Christian wife, was mortified and told me about the proposal in tears. I suggested she get a divorce, but she said she didn't believe in it and she wouldn't be the one to end their marriage. As my dad pushed, I knew exactly where this would end up if my mom agreed. Her friend and I convinced her. My mom was hesitant at first but she agreed with the condition that they would be completely transparent with each other. My dad was a middle-aged, 41, man with a belly, and my mom, 39, was an athletic woman who worked out regularly. I'm a 22-years-old woman, BTW. I don't know how my dad was so blind or what he thought would happen. I helped create online dating profiles for my mom almost six months ago. After getting an insane number of matches, choosing from them and chatting with them for months, my mom started hooking up with a few people. Getting all this attention has provided a massive boost to her confidence and she seems better. My dad hooked up with his secretary almost immediately. He's had very little luck with other ladies. With their transparency thing, my mom tells him about all her hookups. A few weeks ago, my dad screamed at my mom for some minor thing. Usually, my mom would have apologized, but with her new confidence, she didn't back down. It's been constant fights the last few weeks. My dad keeps starting fights by making snide remarks about my mom's clothing or appearance. He almost even called my mom a whore, but stopped himself. I think open marriage finally sunk in. My mom told me he tried to have a conversation about stopping their open marriage, but she immediately shot it down. I think they'll split up. My dad was never there for either of us, but the thought of my parents splitting up still feels weird. I don't feel bad for my dad, but I wish he put effort into his family. I'm happy for my mom though. Update, April 18, 2022 A few days after my previous post, my dad left our home and had a divorce served to mom in a week. My grandparents didn't know about any of this, but my dad told them when he served the divorce. He also implied to them that my mom was cheating on him. Both sets of grandparents came to our home and started berating my mom. I kept screenshots of all my parents' communications, and my mom showed them to them and it got way worse after that. Grandparents started fighting each other, blaming each other's children for causing all this. A few days after this, my mom's old church friends came to our home. Back when my mom used to go to church, they used to look down on her for being from a small town. My mom has always been a very caring and non-judgmental person, so she disagreed with their bigotry and they began excluding her from their activities. After she met her gym friends, my mom stopped going to church entirely. These church friends started calling my mom a slut and she kicked them out. My mom is on a cut right now, so she has very defined abs and arms. So along with all the normal stuff getting thrown at her, my grandparents accused her of having a man body, and she also had a lot of random transphobia thrown at her. Her trainer friend has been a great support through all this. She contacted the attorney she used for her divorce, and my mom is spending a lot of time at her house. 
Turns out, the business my dad is running is owned by mom. It was set up by my mom's dad in her name, so it belongs to her. I did not know this until now and assumed that my dad owned it. The whole situation is a huge mess right now. Dad is living in some hotel and my grandparents left yesterday after a week of fighting and trying to force my parents back together. I know there's a lot more divorce drama to come but I hope it calms down for now. AITA for asking my wife for an open relationship after two years without sex. It feels weird to type but next year I will be 30. I have been married since I was 22. My wife is the same age. Three years ago she had just beaten cervical cancer. She had surgery, and she was a soldier, throughout the whole process. I am very proud of her. After the surgery, we didn't have sex for obvious reasons, and I accepted that. However, she still gave me oral sex frequently. I would try to please her as best I could without hurting her, but it's tough. Eventually, her sex drive disappeared completely. She just did not want to be intimate anymore. This has been going on for two years. She will give me oral sex on my birthday or special occasions, but that's it. I am still very attracted to my wife. I love her very much. I do not want to give up sex for the rest of my life. I have talked to her numerous, countless times, and she's just not into it anymore. It's not a pain thing, but a desire thing. I have been reading up on open relationships, basically just flings to satisfy my needs as a man while still living and loving my wife. She was not receptive of the idea at all, to say the least. Crying, yelling, you name it. She doesn't understand why I d even ask. Even after I explain. I want to grow old with her, but I don't want to be old now and give up sex. I don't even know what I could have done different in this, besides just shut up and be celibate forever. My wife, 37F, and I, 39M, entered into an open marriage at her request. Now she wants to close it up again. My wife and I have been married for 15 years. We have two children, a 14-year-old girl and a 12-year-old boy. About a year and a half ago, my wife came to me asking for an open marriage. She said she was bored with just us and wanted to experience more. I was very against this, as I am a strong believer that marriage is between two people. At the same time, when we got married I'd had five sexual partners and my wife had only been with me. She made it clear that either we opened things up or she was prepared to file for divorce. Neither of us wanted that, so I agreed under certain conditions. Nobody brought back to the house, we don't talk about partners, the kids don't know, family doesn't know, all partners are tested ahead of time, nobody that we both know, etc. I had a strong suspicion that my wife had someone in mind, and this was confirmed when 24 hours after we agreed, she went out and didn't return until 4 a.m. It was difficult for me to accept, and I was really not okay with it, but I wanted to save my marriage. Last May, I met Amber. Our daughters are in marching band together. Amber is divorced and has no interest in getting married again. Like everyone else in the world, she does have needs. So five months after opening up the marriage, I began sleeping with Amber. At first it felt like cheating, but honestly, it's nice to have something no strings where neither of us wants it to proceed forward. Over time I became comfortable with the idea that my wife and I would be able to get our needs met both inside and outside of our marriage. It actually made our sex life a lot more passionate, and we were much happier. My wife and her side guy, who I never met, stopped seeing each other in April amid coronavirus. From what I gather, while he's in an open marriage, his wife is not aware, and it was too hard to get away. In May, we helped organize a Zoom concert for the band Kids, which turned out great, though my wife met Amber for the first time. Well, I guess Amber has been open with a few of the moms because it got back to my wife that Amber was my outside partner, see update. My wife informed me that as we both know Amber, I needed to end things with her. I refused, citing the fact that neither of us knew her ahead of time, and the meeting did not violate the rules we established. Throughout the past month, she's numerous times told me that she's uncomfortable with me continuing to sleep with Amber and I need to conclude the arrangement. Note that she was fine for a year where she was with her partner. 
This weekend, she came to me and stated that she'd like to close our marriage again. I told her I was open to that as long as we agreed that it would remain closed moving forward. She agreed that's what she wants as well, that she doesn't need to have any more partners, that she's happy with just me. I told her that we could agree to close the marriage on two conditions. The first I laid out above. The second, I wanted her to sign a document waiving spousal support in the event of divorce. She flipped out. She categorically refused to even consider that. My wife is a psalm and has not worked since we got married. She said that I could keep seeing Amber and leave her with nothing if she signed that. I told her that I'd be willing to include a list of mutually agreed-upon situations, including infidelity on my part where the agreement would be void. She says it's not open for discussion, that she's not going to continue to be cheated on and left with nothing when I decide to leave her for Amber. I pointed out that this whole thing was her idea and that I only went along with it to preserve our marriage. She says that if we don't close the marriage up, then it might as well be over. I told her that I'm not going to tolerate being threatened with divorce every time she doesn't get her way. She says I'm being dramatic and I need to focus on us. Should I agree without stipulations? I know there's no future with Amber as we've both agreed it's purely physical and even though I know I'm standing my ground, I feel like I'm blowing up my marriage over a dead end. At the same time, I don't believe it's about Amber at all. Update, so based on what some of you have said here, this morning I called Amber up, reminded her that we were supposed to keep things discreet, and asked who she shared the details of our liaison with. She denied telling anyone, and I didn't get the feeling she was lying. I pulled up my wife's Google timeline history and discovered that she tracked me to Amber's house in April. She followed me and then deliberately introduced herself to Amber to create a conflict. Here I was thinking she actually wanted to get involved in band parents, but no, she just wanted to try to end things with my outside partner, I don't even know what to do at this point. TL, doctor, my wife asked for an open marriage, I reluctantly agreed. Now that she's no longer seeing her outside partner, she wants to close it up again. Update. To recap. My wife told me that she wanted an open marriage, I didn't, but agreed when she told me she was prepared to file for divorce. She had an outside partner within 24 hours. It took me a few months. Her partner and her broke up. She stalked me and introduced herself to my partner to try to force me to end it. When that didn't work, she decided to demand that the marriage be closed again. I put conditions on it that she wasn't willing to accept. Now on to the last month. It's been a very tough month. I confronted my wife about the stalking. She denied it at first and then I brought up her location history. She attempted to deflect, claiming I invaded her privacy, but I didn't take the bait. Finally, she admitted that she didn't like that I had someone on the side when she didn't and a mom at the school felt too close to home. I agreed that I would end things with Amber if she would agree to counseling close the marriage up permanently, and start looking for a job to help with household expenses. She replied that she's a stay-at-home mom. I told her it was something we could revisit after coronavirus is over, but when things normalize, she can't just stay home. We did a few therapy sessions, and things went well at first. The therapist challenged her on why she had followed me, asked why she felt she had to go outside the marriage, and had her address pretty much everything going through my mind. Then things went south. She admitted her outside partner was someone from her past, a high school boyfriend. They'd broken up before anything happened, and had reconnected. She regretted not going all the way with him in high school and decided that she wanted to fulfill that desire. I was pissed. I told her that if me choosing a mom from school was too close to home, then her choosing a married ex-boyfriend was completely unacceptable. I told her I didn't even want to look at her. I checked into a hotel to go cool off, because I didn't want my kids to see me like that. I stayed there for a few days, and then decided to go home and deal with what was left of my marriage. When I got home, I found that my daughter was being unusually cold to me. Even for a 14-year-old girl, she was very dismissive. When I asked her what was going on, she went off on me for cheating on mom with a banned mom. I asked her where she heard this. She wouldn't tell me at first telling me it didn't matter, 
but then finally admitted her mother told her that I was staying at my girlfriend's house after I left. I counted to ten in my head, told her it wasn't true, showed her the receipt on my phone for the hotel, and told her that her mother and I had a fight and I decided to take some time away so we could both calm down. She cried a lot and I promised her that I loved her and I'd always love her. I did my best to remain calm though I was burning up inside. I didn't even go to my wife. I went on Facebook and found the guy's wife. I sent her a message letting her know that for a year and a half her husband had been having an affair with my wife and I'd be happy to send her any proof she'd like. She was very appreciative and had suspected something was up. A few hours later, my wife came to me in a rage screaming that I had violated the confidentiality of our therapy and ruined the guy's life. I asked her what she meant to do by telling our daughter that I had a girlfriend? She denied doing it and still refuses to admit that she told her anything other than I was away for a few days. This went down last Thursday. We haven't spoken to each other since. We're supposed to have another counseling session tomorrow, though I don't know if it's even worth going. I keep catching her in lies, and I don't think I'll ever be able to trust her again. I know that filing for divorce is the wise choice at this point, but I feel sick thinking about it. I feel like a failure, because I couldn't make my marriage work. I know that's where it's going to end up, I just feel like I'm going to throw up every time I try to call an attorney.